wait for this car to go. Yeah. Also, you said that you blindfolded the F12s. <laughs> <laughs> About to drop the hottest mixtape of 2017. Not after our ears are blown. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Supercars of London. I, today, I am being joined by Mr. JWW, my M3, and uh, Mr. JWW's RS6. Now, today, I would like to, first of all, issue a headphone user's warning because this is going to be a very loud video but it is a challenge that I've kind of created slash stolen from Radio 1 so if anyone from Radio 1 is listening uh, or what no what's watching or watching or watching thanks for the idea <laughs> thank you for the idea I don't really have a name for this challenge however let me explain the concept I am going to be driving your car you have selected 10 words that you think I'm going to use to either describe the experience or just features on the car that I'm not allowed to say basically. Bogey words, if you would say. I've got five minutes behind the wheel of that car mm -hmm. and I have to avoid the 10 words that you have named. Yep. And you are gonna be armed with this, an air horn. <laughs> for every time that I say a word that I'm not supposed to say. And you've said this in secret, we both come up with the words in yeah, secret. Yeah, we both sat independently. Independently created. Come up with these words. Yeah. And you're gonna be driving my M3 on your channel. Yep. And I've selected 10 words that I think you're gonna say in that. And, that, and you're creating a video as this well. This is a good one, actually, this is a good one. <laughs> if, you, if you watched one of our collaboration videos last time, he had me driving the F12 blindfolded, so it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> so I think all that is left to do is for James to reveal the 10 words whilst I put my fingers in my ears, and we go for a drive? Yeah. Okay, he's there, okay. So, the words I've got, and okay, some of these are quite generic, because that, that that's the, the, the like strategy I'm going for is the more generic, the more likelihood I have of blasting that thing in, in his ear. So the ten words are awesome, power, talk, amazing, pretty generic, fast, rapid, savage, steering, brakes, and carbon. Wish me luck. I don't feel like I've I've got the the same vocabulary as yours though. I, th I feel like you've read more thesauruses in your time than me. <laughs> <laughs> So I've also just realised, wobbly wobbly, both our most more practical cars both have the least practical interiors. <laughs> They're both like ivory white. <laughs> good, good choice. I'm really trying to like <laughs> second guess you. And all I do, oh bro, you're gonna have to move the. <laughs> move the <screen>. <laughs> <laughs> can you put the screen in or not? Uh, yeah, you can. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, Probably should have picked that out. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Um... Ooh, I'm so nervous. Oh, okay, hold on a minute. Tell me when you. So I just, I just slam this down. Yeah, just slam it down. Right. Okay. You good to go? Let me know when you're ready. Three, two, one, go. go. I'm gonna slip it into manual so that we get a full RS6 experience. Yes! <laughs> I can't believe I didn't put RS6 in there, what? It feels big! It feels like a boat! I nearly, uh, I nearly, uh, headed into oncoming traffic there and we've got a lovely Volvo. <laughs> She's quite far over in the middle of the quite road. Quite far over in the middle of the road. It does feel big, but I think once we get going on some beautiful Cotswolds country roads, we should be able to open the taps up on the twin turbo V8? I can't believe it! These words are so obvious when you're saying it. Okay? So, initial reactions. I have driven an RS6 before. I don't think it was an RS6 performance. This is the latest from the Audi, Audi Sport, Audi Sport range. Great! <laughs> I'm like rapidly scanning through the words and he's going to say something. So this is the facelifted. Oh. No. Go back. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this is the facelifted RS6 with new and revised headlights, taillights. It's also got a rumbly sports exhaust. No? No! I can't believe it! <laughs> oh my god, but the power. <laughs> Delivery of all of the horses. 
is something that really kicks you up the backside. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's so hot in here. <laughs> I feel like we need some aircon on. I can so, uh, see what I can do. The Audi RS6. It is a very comfortable car. I feel like Audi have brought back and created an, a fashionable estate car. I feel like Audi make estate cars cool again because no other manufacturer does that. The rivals of the Mercedes E63 AMG is not as aggressive as this. The way this car sits is a very, very aggressive, almost wide body kit and an amazing amount of woven carbon. <laughs> You said woven! No, you said carbon! Oh, damn it! <laughs> I was like, why are you thinking of woven? <laughs> oh my god! So we're just cruising now, but let's let's drop it down a few gears. Oh, and that is not a word, so I can get away with saying that. <laughs> but it is an incredible car. And I'm gonna say a word that I actually wrote down in mine, I think, but it is also phenomenally practical. Yes! <laughs> I can't believe I put that I down. love, I love the materials that are in this car and the paint job on the outside, which is kind of red, kind of blue. If you merge those together, <laughs> you'd get that color. <laughs> have, I, have I swerved a word? I didn't find that word. It's just funny. It's that, purple. It's just funny listening to you tiptoe around it. So purple. I also feel like purple carbon fiber with the light interior that isn't. Can it's I, the opposite of black. Can I double oh. thing? Because you already said carbon. Did I say carbon? Yeah, again? you said carbon already. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing that I think lets this car down is the size of the paddles. I think that the paddles could be a little bit more racy, but again, this is an estate car, so why would it have big paddles? I'm kind of picking at things that don't need to be picked at because this car <laughs> is near on perfect. The size of it, how many people you can fit in it, how many of their suitcases you can fit in it, plus the amount of power. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I saying words I've already repeated? <laughs> Told you I should read more it's, thesauruses. It's, it's hard to describe <sighs> a car under pressure. <laughs> yeah, I know I've got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, you've got, you've got how, how long have I got left? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Overall, I think both my car and this kind of are totally two different cars, but also have the same purpose of being the ultimate daily. And I'd like to pose a comment down below of what you think is more of a perfect daily, the BMW M3 or the Audi RS6 performance. Is that it done? 12 seconds. 12 12 seconds, seconds, seconds keep... Subscribe to Supercars London <laughs> and subscribe to Mr. JWW because we're going to do more, more of these. I'm going to drive your LT and you're going to drive my Lambo. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're done. Oh, Time I'm done. done. <laughs> so Woo! I think, was that three? Power three. carbon. What was the other one? Power carbon. Let's have a look. I think, I think you said carbon twice. Oh, I did, and I said power. More so the other words that I got, awesome, oh. power, which is what. Yeah. I mean. Talk. I was. Yeah. I thought you're gonna <laughs> use talk. It's like this thing is thick with talk. Yeah. We got amazing, fast. Did you use that? No, fast. I don't know. I don't think Rapid, it. savage, steering, brakes, and carbon. Oh, okay. I'm glad I dodged some of them. Yeah. Because some of them you, I probably should have said like a awesome, good chunk of them. Rapid talk, but Oh man. <laughs> I feel so like it I've forgotten now. who I don't I don't know who's won that. I I've, I've forgotten how many I did. Two. Was it only two? Yeah. Oh, it felt worse than that. It felt <laughs> terrible. I think you pressed the horn more because I you used carbon said the twice. bogey words more than once, which is stupid. I think you used carbon twice. Yeah. I did. Power, and then you wedge three three power in there nicely. But <laughs> 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 well, that was it. That was that was pretty fun. That was way more intense than I expected. <laughs> yeah, it to be. Way, way more intense than I was expecting. <laughs> but also a lot more fun than I was thinking. Like I had this idea. I was like, it, it sounded good on Radio One. Can we do it with cars? It? Yeah. Turns out we can. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to do it again. I think we got to rope more people yeah. in. Well, what start. about when we're in? 
Monaco, let's do it in some supercars. Yeah. Because then, because I think we're more au fait with describing those cards. So yeah, I reckon there's going to be more overlap with the. I reckon I can predict more words from those cars. Exactly. Maybe. That, I think that's the best way. Yeah. I think that, I think that's what we should do. That's what she. That's what we should do. Uh, James, thank you very much for coming to see me on such a thank beautiful you. day. Thanks for coming up with more crazy ideas. <laughs> Head over to James's channel to see how he got on in my BMW M3. I think we did all right in terms of similar. reviewing the cars. I think yeah. the word the word choosers didn't do that well. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't choose well at all. <laughs> like, no engine description. Like, what was that? The main characteristic of the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this video i've had a lot of fun filming it and uh thank you for watching make sure that you subscribe give it a thumbs up if you haven't already i will leave the link below so you can check cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi các bạn hãy bấm like comment và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha 